DNA and RNA are both polynucleotides. This means they are made up of many repeating nucleotide monomers joined together to form a long unbranched polynucleotide chain. A nucleotide monomer is always made up of three parts, a phosphate group, a pentose sugar and an organic nitrogen containing base. In RNA, the 5-carbon pentose sugar is called ribose. The organic nitrogen containing base is attached to carbon 1. In RNA, the bases can be adenine, uracil, cytosine and guanine. But in DNA, uracil is not present. Instead, there is the base thymine. Adenine and guanine are known as purines. That's because they have a larger two-ring structure. Whereas thymine, uracil and cytosine are all pyrimidines. They have a smaller one-ring structure. The nucleotides can join together by condensation reactions. These condensation reactions are catalyzed by enzymes. The condensation reactions take place between the phosphate group of one nucleotide and an OH group on the pentose sugar of another nucleotide. This forms a phosphodiester link. The phosphodiester link is a strong covalent bond which holds the nucleotides together forming a sugar phosphate backbone. The organic bases always stick out to one side. There are three different types of RNA found in the cell and all of them are very important for protein synthesis. They're all single-stranded molecules. Messenger RNA is a single-stranded copy of a gene. Transfer RNA is also single-stranded, but it folds up into a cloverleaf shape held by hydrogen bonds. Ribosomal RNA complexes with proteins to form the cellular organelles ribosomes, which is where protein synthesis takes place. DNA is a double-stranded molecule made up of two polynucleotide chains that are held by um, hydrogen bonds that form between complementary base pairs. In DNA, the base pairing rules are that adenine always base pairs with thymine and guanine always base pairs with cytosine. There are always two hydrogen bonds between A and T and three hydrogen bonds between C and G. In order for base pairing to take place, the two strands of DNA have to run in opposite directions. This means they are described as anti-parallel. The whole molecule then twists up to form the double helix. DNA is the genetic information of the cell. It carries within its sequence of bases the information for making all the different types of proteins that a cell needs. Sections of DNA that carry the instructions for making a protein are called genes. So to summarise, both DNA and RNA are polynucleotides formed by condensation reactions between nucleotide monomers. The bond between the nucleotides are phosphodiester links there is a sugar phosphate backbone with organic nitrogenous bases sticking out to one side. There are some differences between DNA and RNA. First of all, in the nucleotide, in DNA, the sugar is deoxyribose, whereas in RNA it is ribose. DNA has the bases A, T, C and G, whereas RNA has A, U, C and G. DNA is double-stranded, whereas RNA is single-stranded. And finally, DNA is a very, very long molecule whereas compared to DNA, RNA is relatively short. Let's try some practice questions. This straightforward question asks you to identify parts of a DNA nucleotide. So X is phosphate. Y is deoxyribose. Note that pentose sugar would not be accepted here because it specifically says a DNA molecule. And Z would be a base. And the bond between the complementary bases are hydrogen bonds. For C, we can use the complementary base pairing rules to work out the percentage of each of the different nucleotides in a sample of DNA. If T is 28%, we know that A must also be 28%. And that means that A plus T together must be 56%. The total number of bases must always be 100%, so C and G together must be 100 minus 56, which equals 44. And as C and G must also always be equal, then we know that C must equal half of 40, which equals 22. This question asks you to draw a box around one nucleotide. 
Any nucleotide is okay so long as you have circled a phosphate, a sugar and a base. B asks you which part is not a base but is different in an RNA molecule. You should know that the only bits that are different between DNA and RNA are the bases and the sugars, the pentose sugar. So I'm going to answer B. And you should also know that it is the bases that contain nitrogen. So this answer is going to be A. This is an RNA question. It shows you a part of an RNA molecule and it asks you to name the two bits that make up part X. You should be able to identify part X as the sugar phosphate backbone. B asks you one way in which the structure of mRNA is different from tRNA. There's no difference in the way the nucleotides are made, but this time you should think about the shapes of the molecules. The most important bit is that the tRNA folds up into this cloverleaf shape, which is held by hydrogen bonds.